Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Welcome, guys. How are you tonight? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome, Francisco, Nidia, Lisette Alvarado. We have William Vladimir, Christian, Luis Alberto. Welcome. Wilbur, welcome. Iris, Milena, Wendy Lisette, Eva Alicia, Karen Guadalupe. Welcome, everyone. How are you today? With energy? With energy to continue? Yes? Everybody with good energy? Yes. Yeah, right? <laughs> yes? <laughs> Ready. Okay. Remember that yesterday we started with the future, with the be going to. Now we're going to continue with that topic. And with other structure that we have. So yesterday we saw some examples here that you gave different sentences in the affirmative form. And also we saw the negatives. Now we're going to continue on the yes to questions and short answers with be going to. Remember, this one is only to express the future. And the grammar structure is like this. Are you going to do anything this weekend? This is a yes, no question. Remember that a yes, no question investigates if this information is affirmative or the negative. So here, it can be only two possibilities. For example, yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Or if it's negative, no, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. So that means the person is not going to do, do something special out of the house, but it's going to be at home. Let's see the next one. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yeah, she is. She's going to invite all her friends or negative. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Another one, it could be for plural manner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday or negative. No, they aren't, but they're going to give me a cake. So you see, we have two possibilities or affirmative or negative. Now here we can also give like extra information about what the person investigates. Do you have a question about this? No questions? No, miss. Okay, we are going to read this ones. Let's start. Francisco, read the question number one, please. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Thank you. Excellent. Nidia, continue. Affirmative sentence. Affirmative answer. Yes, I am. I am going to celebrate my birthday. My birthday. Birthday. That's right. Birthday. Thank you. Very good. Now, just that this part, as is a contraction, you need to say it like this. Um, um, for the contraction. And when it's separate, you say, I am. So let's check the negative. Luis Alberto, continue, please. The negative form. No, I'm not. No, I am no. No, I'm not. I'm not. I am going to stay home. 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 As this contraction, home. you say, I'm, I'm going to stay home. home. Repeat. I am. I'm going home. I'm Perdón. going, yes, I'm going to stay home. To stay home. That's right, thank you. Jose David, continue, please. It's Kayla. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Really good, thank you. Affirmative, Wendy? I am, David. Yes. yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. Really good, thank you. Continue, Chrissy, please. 
No, she said she's going to take me out for dinner. Really nice, great. Wilbur, continue. The next question. Okay. Permítame, oh, no. grande. Are the waiter going to sing to you? To you? To you. To you. Thank you. That's good. Yes. It is. It is Milena. Affirmative. Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. Really nice. Thank you. Let's continue. Uh -huh. Let's see. William. No, they aren't, uh, but they are going to give me a cake. A cake, really nice, thanks. Okay, so we have yes, no question, and the answers can be positive or negative. Now, we have here a conversation, which we're going to practice. This one is happy birthday. I'm going to read it, and then you are going to practice it too. Let's check. We have two characters, two persons okay. in the conversation. Is Angie? Help me with the audio. Me ayudan con el audio, por favor. Help me, please. Okay. Let's start. It's Angie and Philip. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. What's embarrassing? Do you remember what's that? <clears throat> yes, it's so embarrassing. Good. Okay. Do you have... New vocabulary here in this conversation? New words? No? Okay, then let's practice the conversation. Let's start. Let's see, William. Let's start with Angie, please. Are you? Are you going to do anything else in Exciting? It's exciting this weekend. Very good. Thank you. Let's continue. Let's see. Luis Antonio, continue, please. Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. My birthday. 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 Thank you. Lisette, do you have a question? <clears throat> um, Angie, ¿no? Lisette Alvarado? Sí, eh, me escucha, teacher. Yes, yes, I can listen to you. Okay. Tell me. Okay. Fabulous. Oh, the pronunciation. Yes. Fabulous. Fabulous. Fab fabulous. Fabulous. Nice. Okay, repeat it, please. You can continue Fab with Angie. Fabulous. Fabulous. Good. Continue. Fabulous. When? When is your birthday? Birthday? Happy birthday. Exactly. When is your birthday? Exactly. When is your birthday? Exactly. That's nice. Thank you. That's all right. Sarina, continue, please. <clears throat> You're Philip. It's August 9th, August. August. Sunday. August 9th. August 9th, Sunday. 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 Very good. Yes. Thank you. Let's continue then. Yesenia Palacios. So, what are your plans? So, what, what are your plans? What, what, what are your plans? Very good. Yes. Jose David, continue, please. Well. Well, my friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. That's all right. Good. Jennifer Elizabeth. Nice. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Really good. Thank you. Mercedes. Mercedes, Elizabeth, are you present? No? Wendy Lisette? 
Yeah. Yes. And, okay. the, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Really good. Thanks. Okay. We practice this conversation. Now, let's go ahead with more oh, examples. Diverse. More examples with yes, no questions and short sure answers with be going to. We can also have short sure answers, but also complete answers. And let's put here so they are complete answers. So let's have these. The first one we have is, are you going to go swimming this Saturday? Yes, I am going to go swimming this Saturday. And you can also include extra information with my brother. So yes, I am going to go swimming this Saturday with my brother. Another example will be this. Are you going to study abroad? Yes, I am. I'm excited. We're going to read the next one. Camila, can you please read the next? Is your crush? Is your crush going to call you? Call yes. you? Yes. Call, call you? you. Good. Yes, he, she he is she, going right. to call me later. Later. Very good. That's nice. Mercedes, Elizabeth, are you present? Karen Guadalupe? Karen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's read the next one, please. Are your parents? Are your par parents going to travel next year? Very good. I will be an answer here. Maybe affirmative or negative. So let's yeah. answer. <laughs> Eva Alicia, are you present? Yes. Yes. Okay, tell me an answer. Maybe affirmative or negative. Um, are your parents going to travel next year? No, they aren't. Ah, very good. No, they aren't. Okay, that will be like a short answer. That is correct. No, they aren't. And that's okay. Thank you. Let's continue then. Carlos. Carlos Mario? Yes. Hello. Can you read the next one, please? Hello. Are you going to? Are you going to go to the gym tonight? Uh -huh. Thank you. That's good. Bryant, the answer, please. No. No. I'm, I'm not. not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to work. Very good. So this is extra information, right? That's correct. Very nice. Thanks. Let's see, Rosa Irma. Yes. Hello, Rosa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's read the last one, please. Are you? Are, are you? Are and your friends going to play soccer tomorrow? Very good. Thank no. you. No. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. Say it. Say it. No, yeah, we're no, 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 we're going to go to the we're video wrong. games. Arcade. Ar ¿cómo se dice? Arcade. 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 Very good. Thank you. Very good, guys. Okay. Look, we have here a phrase. Video game arcade is this one. It's like when you go to play video games, like at the mall, for example, in different malls, like Metro Centro, Unicentro, you can find a video game center or video game arcade. Yes, so that's a video game arcade. Do you have questions with these examples? Oh, no, teacher. No? No questions? Okay, now we have an exercise here. And it says, is your partner going to do the things in part A this weekend? Ask and answer questions. For example, if we ask here, are you going to go dancing this weekend? He says, yes, I am. I'm going to go to a new dance club downtown. Are you going to go with a friend? So let's ask more questions. For example, if I want to ask a uh, Doris, Doris, are you here? Yes. Yes. Okay. What about if I ask you, um, Doris, are you going to go dancing this weekend? 
No, I am not going to to dance in, in week. No, I am not going to go dancing. This, this weekend. weekend. Uh -huh, going, that's correct. That's good. That's for a negative, I'm negative going answer. To go dancing. To go dancing. That's good. Adriana? Adriana Gabriela? Is not here. Presents? Estela? Estela Maria? Adriana? Yes, sure. And the question will be like this Are you going to travel on Christmas? Hello. Tengo mala conexión. No sé si ah, podría repetir, ah, por yes, favor. Sure. Yes. Y ahorita escucha bien. ¿Se escucha bien ahorita? Sí. Sí, sí. Ok. The question is, are you going to travel on Christmas? Hello? There is problem, right, with the connection. Okay, let's continue then. Wendy Lisette? Wendy? Okay. Hello, Wendy. Okay, tell me, are you going to travel on Christmas? Mm, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, that's good. Okay, Yesenia? Hello? Hello, Yesenia. Tell me, Hello. are you, are you going to play soccer tomorrow? No, I am not a play soccer tomorrow. No, I am not going. I am not going. I'm uh -huh. not going to play soccer. To play, no. going to play. Uh -huh. I am not going to play soccer tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's correct. Good one, Rosa Irma. Rosa Irma. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, Rosa. Tell me, are you going to go to the doctor on Friday? Uh, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm not. not. Mm, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. All right. That will be a short answer. Very good, guys. Okay. Now let's go ahead with another exercise that we have here. But this exercise, we are going to make some guesses because we have to listen to it. It says, evening plans in the part A. It says, it's 5.30 p.m. What are these people's evening plans? Write your guesses in the charts. In the part B, it says, listen to the interviewer ask these people about their plans. What are they really going to do? Complete the chart. So guesses. What are guesses? Guesses son como adivinanzas. So according to how you see here the picture, mm -hmm. you are going to make your supposition and, and make like Michelle, Kevin, Robert, and Jane. What are they going to do? That depending on the clothing or accessory that they are wearing or the things that they have. For example, in the case of Michelle, your guess, if you see Michelle in the first side, you can say, okay, Michelle is going to go to the gym, but probably not. But that's what I suppose. What about Kevin? Okay. What do you think about Kevin? What is Kevin going to do? Can you tell me? He's going to dance, maybe. Maybe he's going today, okay. That's good. So that will be the guess that we have. Let's write it down. He's going to go dancing. He's going to go dancing. All right. What about Robert? Francisco, what do you think? What is Robert going to do? Robert is going, Robert to, is to, going to work. Or... Yeah. Okay. He's going to work. He's going to work. Who is not writing? He's going to work. 
All right, that we have here is what we suppose that they are going to do. What about Jane? What do you think that Jane is going to do? Jane is not sure. Uh -huh. What do you think? She is going, going to a to... concert thing. Uh, she's going to go to a concert. Let's remember that here yes. we don't need to include subject because we have the names, right? So Kevin is going to go dancing, you said. The other one you say, Robert, is going to work. To work. So what you told me, she's going to go to a concert, right? But you told me that you suppose yes. Yes. she's going to go go to, to go. Work. To a concert. To a concert. All right. That's good. Those are the guesses that we have, suppositions that you have. But also we have the audio, but the audio is in the platform. Have you checked the platform? Let's check the platform. Let's go ahead. Let me verify it here. So this one was the first one. Let's listen to it. We're going to listen about what Michelle is going to do, the first one. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. Okay. So this one just like an example, right? So that you can check in the platform. So are we okay? No. No, it's right? Not okay. Yeah, very good. No. So what does it really, really? She she is going to uh, meeting with her friends. Uh -huh. She's going to meet with her friends, right? So Michelle is going to meet with her friends. And they say that uh, she's going to run also, right? She's going to run. But first, she's going to meet or have a reunion with her friends. In that manner, you are going to complete the platform because you have four interviews here. Question about this? Let's continue then. That was the ones we listen here. So that was the option. That was the best option. Meet a friend. That's what Michelle is going to meet a friend. Then we're going to continue with a video. And this one is about pronunciation. Referring to reduction of going to. So there is a manner to say it in a short form. Let's listen to it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing be going to. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. When spoken, going to 
is usually going to sound as gonna. Let's analyze the examples one more time. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna go out with a friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. As I mentioned in a previous class in which I talked about pronunciation, pronunciation is one of the most difficult to learn in English. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Today's topic is quite universal. And if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear gonna instead of going to. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English and pay attention to how going to is pronounced. All right. So in the video, this one was about how we can make a reduction of going to. There exists a short manner, but it's informal way. So let's see here. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of going to, to, gonna. So you can say also like this, like gonna. For example here, are you going to have a party? No. I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. So if we have here, now checking here, this one is the complete manner, but sometimes people say gonna. So they pronounce it like that. It's like this. We have other cases here. Going to gonna. But gonna is an informal manner to speak it. It's not correct in grammar, but it's very popular manner. The thing is that we need to know where to use this language because, for example, you are not going to go to a job interview that you know is very formal and important and use gonna. It's not recommendable to use like that. You have example. I am going to drive to the Christmas party tomorrow. This is complete because you have subject, verb be, going to, base form of the verb, and you have complement. The informal manner, it will be, I am gonna drive to the Christmas party tomorrow. Other examples will be, I'm going to travel to Colombia next Monday. This is the formal manner. I'm going to travel to Colombia next month in formal way. Joshua isn't going to work full time. Joshua is not going to work full time. Are you going to meet with your relatives in Colombia? Yes, I am. This will be a short answer. Or yes, I'm going to meet with my relatives in Colombia. The two manners, question and answer, they are formal, very, very formal. Let's see the informal. Are you going to meet with your relatives in Colombia? Yes, I'm going to see my relatives in Colombia. I'm going to see or I'm going to meet. Right? If you see them, you meet them. So this is the informal way to call it. Now, let's read them. Mercedes, can you please start? The first one, please. I'm going to. Okay. I'm going to travel to Colombia next month. Very good. I got. Yes. I got it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm gonna travel to Colombia next month. Really good. Thank you. Francisco, continue please. Joshua isn't going to work full time. Nice. Joshua. Joshua is not gonna work full uh -huh. time. Very good. Thank you. Lisa, continue please. Now in the form of question. Okay. Are you going to meet? Are you your... going? Are you going? Are you, are you going to meet with your relative relatives, relatives in Colombia? Yes. Are, are... yes. Answer. Answer. Yes. Yes, I am. 
I am. Yes, very good. Thank you. Wendy, continue, please. Or yes. Yes, I'm going to meet with my relatives in Colombia. That's correct. Thank you. Rosa Irma? Are you going to meet with your relatives in Colombia? That's all right. Good one. Let's continue. Wilbur, please. Okay. Yes, I'm going to... Okay. Yes, I'm gonna meet my rel re um, relatives. How do you pronounce? Relatives. Re? Relatives. Relatives. Okay. Yes, I'm gonna meet my relatives in Colombia. That's correct. Good. Thank you. What are relatives? Have you heard what are relatives? They are members of the family, like familiares. They are relatives. So is that you're going to meet uh, the members of your family? Mm. Questions? No questions about it? So give me examples, please. It is Milena. Give me an example, please. You're going to use the formal way. So use I'm going to and use a different action. I'm going to read a new book. A new book. Very good. Luis Antonio, say another example, but now I use gonna. I'm gonna do my homework uh, Friday. On Friday. On Friday. Very good, Luis. Friday. Very good. Thank you. Camila, give another example and use I'm going to. I'm going to buy tomatoes. I'm going to buy tomatoes. Excellent. That's correct. Now let's see. Jose David, just gonna. ¿Con cuál, Tisha? With gonna. I'm gonna. So the informal way. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna. Uh, Maybe visit, cook, eat. Uh, I'm gonna visit my parents. Very good. That's nice. I'm gonna visit my parents. That's correct. So a few observe here. Going to you substitute and you use gonna, but the verb is always in the base form, so you only substitute. But gonna is not recommendable in an in a formal manner. It's not very correct in grammar form. We are going to pass the list and after we continue with holidays. Let me know if you are present, please. I'm going to pass the list. Teacher, no más quiero hacer una pregunta. Tell me. Eh, en la contracción ISEN, eh, uh -huh. solamente se utiliza con el going to. Y no con el gonna. O sea, puedo usar el listen con el gonna. You can. It's like this. When you use Joshua isn't going to, or also like this. Joshua isn't gonna. The two forms are correct. Ah, okay. Going gracias. to or gonna. Okay, You're gracias. You're very welcome. Let's check here the platform. No. Oh. Sure. Hello. I gonna eh, como negar, ¿verdad? I'm sorry. I gonna es como negar. Negar, no. No, este es le tiene el mismo significado que going to, solo que es una manera informal. Abreviada. No abreviada, porque si lo abreviamos ah. sería también formal y no ah. es no es formal. Es como cuando nosotros decimos, voy a ir a la playa. Esa es la manera correcta, la manera formal de decirlo. Pero la ah. manera incorrecta, ¿cómo decimos normalmente? En lugar de decir, voy a ir. ¿Qué utilizamos en El playa. Salvador? Ajá. Voy a la playa. Voy a la playa, decimos. <risa> como aboga así, voy a la playa. Voy a comer. <risa> Me voy a bañar ahorita. <risa> 
Me voy so, a bañar. Así dice. suena, así suena en inglés. Ah, ¿qué? Okay. Así suena okay. en inglés. Es la manera informal. De hecho, es como street language. Pero eh, se adopta en el lenguaje como nosotros. Tenemos man bastantes maneras de hablar incorrectamente, pero nos entendemos. Entonces, es necesario aprender ambas formas para entendernos, sí. ya sea formal o informalmente. Solo que, como les mencionaba, eh, es necesario como ubicar en qué lugar es correcto usarlo y en cuál no. Por ejemplo, en una entrevista de trabajo no es recomendable utilizar gona. Eso depende del ambiente. Con los amigos, sí, ¿verdad? Porque sabemos que es un ambiente Ajá. informal. Se dice, ay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to the party. Entonces, no es necesario utilizar, I'm going to go to the party. Ah, oh, you sound very formal. <ríe> so, it's very, very formal. <ríe> pues, no, bien. Thank you, teacher. You're very welcome. Let me check here the list. I'm looking for it. Here I have it. Okay. Here we are. Adriana Gabriela. Adriana Gabriela. No. Alma Patricia. Thank you, Stanley. Thank you, Alma. Ana Lisset. Ana Present Lisset. Teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Lisset. Brenda Esmeralda. Present. Brenda. Brenda Esmeralda. Yeah, I didn't listen. <laughs> Se escucha bien suavecito. <laughs> Thank you. Brian Alexander. Present. Brian. Thank you, Brian. Camila Lisset. Present teacher. Thank you, Camila. Carlos Mario. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Doris Emilia. Present teacher. Thank you, Doris. Elvis Leonel. Elvis Leonel. Estela Marisol. Present. Thank you, Estela. Eva Alicia. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Francisco Ma eh, Samuel. Present teacher. Good Thank evening. You. Good evening. Welcome, Francisco. Iris. Iris Milena. Present. Thank you, Iris. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present teacher. Very good. Thank you, Jennifer. Jose David. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Karen Guadalupe. Karen Guadalupe. Hi, present. Hey, hey. Thank you. Chrisia Dorila. Chrisia Dorila. Present teacher. Thank you, Chrisia. Luis Alberto. Luis Alberto, Luis Antonio, present teacher. Okay, uh, to Luis, right? Luis Mengibar. Okay, thank Alberto. you. We have tocayos <laughs> here. Okay, thank you. Tocayos are present. Very good. Thank yes. you. <laughs> thank you so much. Mauricio Enrique. Mauricio Enrique. Mercedes Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Mercedes. Nidia Yamilex. Present. Thank you, Nidia. Rosa Irma. Rosa Present Irma. Chair. Thank you, Present Rosa. Chair. Thank you. Sarina Susana. Present. Thank you. Tatiana María. Tatiana María. Wendy Lisset. Present teacher. Good thank evening. You. Good uh -huh. evening. Welcome, Wendy. Thank you. Wilber Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. William Vladimir. Present. Thank you. Yesenia Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And Yesenia Pamela. Yesenia Pamela. No. All right. Thanks a lot. We're going to move then to our next 
next part of the class. Okay. Now, we're going to see about holidays in the U.S. So, as it says here, our objective. It says that by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about holidays in the U.S. And we are going to give also examples like holidays in our country, in El Salvador. For that, we're going to watch the video. Let's learn vocabulary about holidays in the U.S. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the U.S. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the U.S. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so let's go ahead then. Quit our holidays in El Salvador. So let's describe them here. First, okay, let's check for that. Uh, the ones that are in the U.S., New Year's Day, that is celebrated on January 1st. Valentine's Day. What about uh, Wilbur? When we celebrate, well, in the United States, when do they celebrate Valentine's Day? In, in the United States? It's like here. The day is here. <laughs> well, actually, it's the same day, right? There is no difference. <laughs> okay. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Day. On February, remember? On, on, on February. On February. Um, February. 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 Uh -huh. uh -huh. February. 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 That's good. You did it. Yes. February. 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 Uh -huh. 14. 14. Very good. Thank you. Nidia, what about Independence Day in the U.S.? When do they celebrate? Independence, Independence Day. Independence is going Day. to. Independence Day is going to July 14. It's going to be on July 4th. Fourth. It's going to be on July 4th. Fourth. Very good. Nice. Let's see. Wendy Lisette. What about Halloween? When do they celebrate? Uh, they celebrate Halloween on October 31st. 31st. That's correct. Thank you. Rosa Irma. Thanksgiving. Where they give the um, thanks for everything, right? Rosa Irma? Um, on fourth Thursday in November. Exactly. So here there is not like a specific date, but they celebrate on the fourth Thursday, but it has to be in November. So they count fourth Thursday and they celebrate on that day. What about Christmas? When do they celebrate Christmas? Francisco? They celebrate they Christmas celebrate? Uh -huh. is going to on 25th. Okay. Uh, December 25th. So they celebrate Christmas on December 20th? 25th. 25th. 
That's correct. Okay, that has to do with holidays in the U.S., but we also have similar, right? Similar holidays are, for example, uh, January 1st, February 14th, October, and December. But the rest are different. We celebrate in different dates. So let's check the ones that are holidays in our country, in El Salvador. We celebrate New Year's Day. That's the same day. It is. Can you please say it here? When do we celebrate New Year's Day? January 1st. On, on January? On January 1st. On January 1st. That's all right. Good one. Doris, what about Valentine's Day? When do we celebrate? On January 1st. January 1st, that's good. That will be for New Year's Day, right? Thanks. What about Valentine's Day in El Salvador? When do we celebrate? On uh, February 14th. 14th, very good, nice. Jennifer, Jennifer Elizabeth, when do we celebrate Independence Day in El Salvador? Independence Day on September, uh, how do you say? 15th. 15th. 15. 15. On September 15. That's correct. Good one. Luis Alberto, what about Halloween? Well, this one, we know that is not our original culture, but we celebrate. <laughs> we do it. We celebrate it too. <laughs> Luis Alberto, when do we celebrate Halloween? Luis Alberto? Hello. Me escucha. Hello. He has problems with connection, maybe. Luis Antonio, when do we celebrate Halloween? We celebrate Halloween on October 31st. October, October. October 31st. 31st, that's all right. Good one. Camila. We know we also celebrated something very special, the National Pupusa Day. When we celebrate it. Um, November 12th. 12th. Actually, and it's not like a specific day, but we celebrate in the second Sunday in November. But this year, this actual year, we're going to celebrate it in November 12th. That's all right, good. What about Christmas, Carlos? When do we celebrate Christmas? Carlos, are you present? Nidia? A mí me dijo, perdón. Oh, yes, Carlos, yes. <laughs> when ah, do we perdón, celebrate el Christmas? Que se me trabó. Uh, Christmas is going to be... December 25th. On December 25th. That's all right. On December 25th. That's correct. Right. Good one. Thanks. Okay. As we have here, right? The examples that you gave, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. So we have the future structure. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. So you have a plan here. Independence Day is going to be on September 15th. I'm going to watch the parade. What is a parade? A parade is like this. Like when there is all of them, when they are all of the people there, some of them are walking, others are playing the instruments. We have the cachiporras. Also, they are marching. All of the people form the parade. Just feel it. So that is the plan that the person has. I'm going to watch the parade. Now let's give other examples. Mercedes, I need you to select one celebration. One and, celebration. And give a plan. Okay. Um, uh, 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 on Christmas? Christmas, okay. Uh, Christmas. I, 
okay um i gonna i gone um um i'm i'm gone i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, visit my parents. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna mm -hmm. visit my parents. I'm gonna visit my parents to have um uh -huh. uh, dinner. To have dinner together. That's together. Nice. Really mm -hmm. good. That's nice. That's a good plan. Great. Thank you, mm -hmm. Lydia. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. What about you? What about October thirty first? What are you going to do? On October 31st, on Halloween. Lydia? I am nothing. I am not going to do anything. It's like this. I'm not going to do anything. Okay, That will be for a negative month. I am... I am um, not, not or I'm not going to do anything. Anything. Very good. That's nice. Okay. Chrisia. Chrisia, are you present? Yes. Yes. Okay. Tell me, what are you going to do on Halloween? On uh, Halloween. I am not going to do anything. I am not going to do anything. Very good. That's no. nice. Thank yes. you. Very good. Jose David? Tell me, what are you going to do on the National Pupusa Day? I'm going to visit um, Oroquilta. I'm going to? I'm going to visit Oroquilta. Ah, that's good. Uh, eating pupusa. To eat pupusas. Uh, to eat uh -huh. pupusa. I'm going to visit Oroquilta to eat pupusa. Repeat it, please. I'm going to? I'm, I'm going to? I'm going to visit... Uh, Olo visit Olocuilta. Visit Olocuilta. Visit Olocuilta. Eat pupusa. To eat pupusas. To eat pupusa. Very good. That's nice. Great job. Okay. Now let's go ahead here with some WH questions. Lisette, do you have a question? Lisette? No questions? Yes. Hello. Yes. Yes, tell me. Uh, no, solamente quería compartir que uh -huh. este, I'm gonna eat pupusa. I'm gonna eat Eso. Pupusas. pupusas for the National Pupusa Day. Yeah, that's so delicious. Yes. So you're going to celebrate. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. So let's see here. Now let's go ahead with the WH questions. The previous were yes, no questions. Now here are WH questions and answers with be going to. Remember that with the WH questions, we investigate a specific information. And the formula is WH words plus a verb be plus subject plus going to plus verb in base form plus the complex. For example, what are you going to do this Saturday? I'm going to rest at home. So you see, we don't answer like, yes, I'm going to. No, I'm not going to because we don't investigate if affirmative or negative. This is more specific. Another case will be, where are your siblings going to eat lunch tonight? Now we investigate the place. Where? Donde, right? It's a specific. Where are your siblings going to eat lunch today? They're going to eat lunch at Los Cebollines today. That's their favorite restaurant. This is extra information. Let's see the next one. Carlos Mario, can you please read the next? Who's? Who's going to celebrate Christmas abroad? Nice. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. William, William Vladimir, can you read the answer, please? My neighbor is going to, to celebrate. He's going Christmas to celebrate? To, going to celebrate? To, he's going to celebrate Christmas in Guatemala. 
That's all right. Thank you. Look at here. Investigate the person that is going to celebrate Christmas abroad. Abroad means in a different country. So let's suppose that not here in El Salvador, but in another country. That's why it says here in Guatemala. Let's see the next one. Sarina, can you read the, na and the next one, please? How is he going to get to Guatemala? He's Thank going you. to... Go ahead. Yes. To He's get going the... by to bus. get there by bus. That is correct. So there we have investigate the manner. If you investigate the manner is how. This one is a contraction, the same as here, right? You can also say, who is going to celebrate? How is he going to get to Guatemala? Investigate the transportation. What is the manner? By airplane, by bus, by car. The answer here was, he's going to get there by bus. So that's the transportation that it's going to take. So let's see. Let's ask some other questions. Yesenia, Yesenia Palacios. Yesenia, are you here? No? All right. Luis Alberto, tell me, what are you going to do this Saturday in your information? Luis Alberto? Hello. Problems with the audio, maybe. Camila? What are you going to do this Saturday? I'm going to visit my grandmother. Very good job. That's nice. Really nice. Uh, Luis Antonio, where are... Let's see, your brothers. Where are your brothers going to eat lunch tomorrow? Where are your brothers going to eat lunch tomorrow? They are going to eat lunch at uh, La Pampa. La Pampa, excellent. Very good job. That's nice. Let's see, Wilbur. Wilbur, who's going... Who's going to visit Chalatenango? Who's going to visit Chalatenango? Mention the person, right? The specific person. <clears throat> mm. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> You don't know? Okay, here investigates the person. Like, ¿quién? ¿Quién va a visitar Chalatenango? So you need to mention the person. So you can even say, I am going to visit Chalatenango. My family is. Um, pero yo no voy a visitar ahí. Just an example, an example. <laughs> Not necessarily that is real. It's an example only. Um, the Tengo que decir como un lugar que yo pueda visitar de Chalatenango. No, the person. Es que acá investiga quién. Ah, una quién. persona. ¿A quién Ajá. voy a visitar? Exactly. ¿Quién va a visitar Chalatenango? Who is going to visit Chalatenango? So you can say, my sister, my brother is. Hmm. My brother is. Um, visit. Going to visit. Go going to visit. Chalatenango. Chalatenango, uh -huh, that's correct. You investigate the person. Yes? Correct. Uh, uh -huh. Now okay. let's say, how, how are you going to get to, let's see, Santa Tecla? Sarina, how are you going to get to Santa Tecla? What is the transportation that you're going to use? I'm going to get... I'm, I'm going... And I'm going to get there by bus by bus that's good i am going to get there by bus i'm going to get there by bus by bus excellent joe that's really nice guys very good okay we have this practice here but tomorrow 
we are going to continue working on this and we have more exercises and more questions. All right. Thank you guys. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Salud. Una pregunta. Y no podría usted mandar eso al grupo como para tener y poder repasar y hacer. Ajá, y hacernos. Que, fíjense que eh, Insafor, ellos siempre suben la clase. Entonces siempre van a tenerlo ustedes en la plataforma. Ese, no, eh, ese es el material. Yo me refería a la, a la captura, a eso, como para hacer un poquito más y más. La, más fíjense específico. que, ajá, lo que nos piden a nosotros es que tenemos que subir el video. Eso es lo que, lo que nos piden, pero le voy a consultar a ver si, si se nos permite hacer eso. Ajá, sí, ajá por las diapositivas. El teacher anterior, ajá, la, cuando se los enviaba. Así, ajá, nos los enviaba al grupo y así nosotros teníamos oh. como. Ajá, apoyarnos okay. un poquito más sobre la clase. Ajá, ok. Ajá. Le, le voy a consultar eso. Ok. Con Gracias. el equipo, oye, ok, porque sí, okay. Eh, lo que me habían dicho a mí es que eh, subimos siempre el video y ustedes lo pueden ver cuantas veces ustedes quieran. Sí. En la plataforma que siempre se da acá. Ok. Uh -huh. Gracias. Pero yo les consulto mañana, con gusto. Gracias. Thank you so much, guys. Have a beautiful night. I'll see you tomorrow then. Thank you. Good night. Thank you so Bye. much. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank see you, you so tomorrow. much. Sweet dreams. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Thank you. Good night. Thank you so much. Teacher, I think someone wanted to ask something. Yes. 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 Yo no sé si me alcanzó a tomar lista porque no lo dije al, al momento. No sé si Adriana. la tomó a mí o oh, la persona que iba después que yo. Adriana Gabriela. Ok, yo lo verifico hoy. Ya lo anoté acá. Bueno. Thank yeah. you. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Take care.